Hello, my friends. Welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be connecting your ClickFunnels environment so you can automatically add people to your school membership. And a lot of people are leveraging school because they like the format and the simplicity of it. So what we're going to be going through is all the steps that you can leverage to connect those two together. So let's dive in. So here we have a new school community. And the first thing, just configure it with the basic information that you need. And then you're going to be going in through settings. And in settings, you're going to go into plugins. In plugins, there's two options. You can do this through Zapier or you can do this through Webhook. With the Webhook option, you can automatically add them to your community without needing to approve them when they're going to come in. So all that you have to do, you click edit and you toggle here, this on and off switch. And now you have here the URL that you're going to use. You know, see mine because mine is blocked. So all that you have to do is that you're going to leverage that URL so you can connect Sapier or Make for doing the automation. So how we do that. So let me copy this URL in here. And I'm going to go into make and in make, what we're going to do is that we're going to do a basic scenario similar to Zapier. And the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to have a webhook. When you configure that webhook, let me go to design. You configure the webhook and it's going to give you a URL. This URL is what you're going to put in ClickFunnels. So let's copy this. I'm going to go into my ClickFunnels. And in my webhook, I add that information into the workflow. If you don't know how to add it, you click plus. You come into webhook. And in here, you drop that URL. Okay. Now, when you enable that, let's say basic opt-in, you can put an email address. And as soon as I click the button, they're going to submit the form. They're going to send the information through the webhook in here. And this is going to receive it. I need to decide what to do. I'm going to send that through an HTTP request to school so it can gather the information. And based on the ClickFunnels webhook, the correct parameter is a data attribute. How do I get that? Let me show you. You After you create this, you're going to run the webhook and you're going to make a submission. I'm going to go here, submit. And I'm going to go back and you see, when you get this information, it show you that the data came from ClickFunnels. Now in here, you're going to see that data attributes and it's all the information that is coming from ClickFunnels. All that I need to do, I come into my next step and I put your webhook URL that you grab from school. Let me go back this webhook URL, copy it, you paste it, and you add question email equals. And because you receive the data, it's going to show it to you. You see right here, you just grab the data and you drop it. See, like I had it here. Make sure that you're okay and you save your scenario. Okay. You need to save it. Now we can go back and we can go into history and we're going to see the scenarios. Let's now do a full submission. We should see in, let's say under 30 seconds, another entry. Okay. There you have it. So now we have a full entry. 
and we can see that now it went out to send the request to my school and now I'm gonna get an email. So here you have the email that then is coming to me saying, hey, it's giving me the details. You are welcome to this new community in school. Just click here so you can join. And as soon as I click, what I'm gonna do, then I'm gonna bring me back into this community, okay? So there you have it, my friends, how you can connect ClickFunnels to school with a simple webhook.